Are you lagging on Roblox and you want to fix it? Well, good thing you clicked on this video because in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can fix lag on your PC and possibly get more FPS. Well, first, before we start off, the most obvious thing you can do is first go into a game, click escape, go to settings, and click on graphics mode, switch it to manual, and you want to reduce your graphics quality to the first bar. First thing you want to do is click Windows and Q and search Run, or you want to hold Windows and R to open up the Run menu. Over here, search up TEMP Temp, which stands for Temporary, click OK, and it should open up this folder. Over here, you can click one of them, don't double click it, just click it once, hold Ctrl and A, and it should select every single file in this folder. Next, you want to right click on one of the folders, click Delete, check the Do This For All Current Items box, and click Continue. Some of these items might not work because you might have an application open that's using it, just click Do This For All Current Items and just skip it. Now that you've cleared the temp file, click X, hold Windows R again, and type percentage temporary percentage. This should open up another temporary folder. Over here, do the same thing, click on one thing, control A, right click, and click delete. As you can see, it's deleting over like two gigabytes, maybe three gigabytes worth of folders. Now you wanna head over to your desktop, click on recycle bin, right click it, and empty the recycle bin. All right, for this next tab, you want to open up Windows Search again, click on Background Apps. Now you want to click the Off button, not On. Why? Because you don't want all of these apps running in the background while you're playing Roblox. So click Off and let's move on to the next one. All right, now if you're still worried that background apps are running, you want to head over to the taskbar and click on this Show Hidden Icons button. Now over here, you can see all the apps that are running in the background. Click on one that you don't want running, and click quit or exit, depending on what that app says. Alright, now you want to open up control panel, go to power options, and over here you want to choose ultimate performance. If your PC does struggle a bit, and maybe you're using a laptop, you want to click high performance, and that should also work. Alright, if you don't want to do that, go to search again, and search up game mode settings. Click on the first one that pops up. Once you've opened it up, go to the right side of your screen and find the graphics settings button. Click on it, and it should take you to this option. Now over here, if you don't find Roblox Player here, you can click on the Browse button and find your Roblox Player. I don't know why I have so much of these, but just click on one of them. Now as you can see, Roblox has been added to the Graphics Performance Preference option. Click on the Options button and click High Performance. Click Save and everything should run smoothly. Alright, now that we've done that, if you haven't watched my other video on unlocking your FPS, your FPS should be 60 FPS, as you can see. But once you go to the link in my description, or go to my channel and follow the how to get more FPS on Roblox tutorial, and go back to the Roblox game, if we click Shift and F5, as you can see, I am getting a steady 400 FPS. Now this is a pretty basic, I guess, showcase game, so it is kind of limiting my FPS, but 400 FPS is still really good. And even if we use block straps to uncap my graphics quality to the 20 bar, I'm still getting a steady 200 FPS. And yeah, it's spiking up to 500 sometimes, so this is really good if I want to record a video. So yeah, if this video has helped you out in any way, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below how much FPS you got. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.